Did you know that you can now download Cricut Design Space onto your computer and no longer have to be online to do your projects? It's true, and in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how you can download and install it, so stay tuned. Hey everyone, it's Audrey with AudreyAstoy.com where I love to craft with purpose. And in today's video tutorial, what I wanna do is walk you through the steps on how to download and install Cricut Design Space onto your computer. The really cool thing about this is that you used to have to just always be online because it was all of your projects and everything were in the cloud. And so you could work off of any computer, which is really, really cool. And that was a great feature to have. However, sometimes you might not be where you can get really good internet connection, or you want to just work offline and do your projects and not be connected to the internet. And that was not possible until I think it was October 7th that Cricut Design Space, they had rolled out, I think in September, the uh, beta for it, and now everybody can download it onto their computer. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you how to download it. Now I am using a Mac, okay? So um, it probably works the same for uh, a, you know, a PC. So it's just opening it up will be a little bit different. And hey, if this video helped you in any way, be sure to share it, hit that thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel because I will be doing more of these um, technical uh, you know, videos as well as some fun creative videos showing you how to use Cricut Design Space with your iPad and with your computer. Okay, let's jump in. All right, first things first is I am going to open up my Cricut Design Space on my, now this is the cloud base. You can see that we're there at design.cricut.com. All right, and whenever I go to make a new project, it gives me this, oops, let me jump down. Um, if I do new project, it opens it up and it says, hey, new year, new app, be your best creative self and download the design space for desktop now. So yes, download it. So I'm gonna click on download now. All right, and then it looks like it's still in beta. So I'm not quite sure if this is what's going on, but I know that there are, you know, when you're in beta, it's all brand new. So if there is anything that you run across, I know that the design, the design team and everything at Cricut is working on those. So definitely contact them um, if you're finding out anything. So let's download it. So I always just download it right into my download file on my computer and I'm gonna click save. And now for Max, uh, down here to the left is where I'm gonna be able to open it because right now it's just downloading. And I know if you're on a PC, then I think it's down bottom as well. So wherever this goes, <laughs> just keep watching it. All right, so now it has downloaded and it's down here to the left, so I'm just gonna click on that. All right, and in order to install it, what we're gonna do is just swing, uh, click on this and pull it over into the application folder. Did that go in? I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it's copying it into the application folder and now I'll just go down to my finder down here and let's find it. Okay, we're gonna go to applications folder right here. Open this one. So I double clicked on that and it's verifying Cricut Design Space. Is an app downloaded from the internet? Are you sure you want to open it? And I'm going to say yes, open. All right, so now it wants to um, machine setup. So I don't know if we need to do that first. Let's do this. So I have a Cricut Explorer Air 2, so I'm gonna click on that. Okay, and then fill in your Cricut ID right here. So, and be sure to accept the Cricut terms of service. Cricut ID is golden ticket. If you already have one, you're gonna click here. So sign in. And since I already have one, let me sign in real quick. All right, so if you have the plug, then go ahead and plug that in. I am going to try to do this without the plug. So let's make sure that you've got the latest and greatest firmware. Um, so it is going to my Bluetooth. So it's connecting to that. 
and let's see it's saying that it will change color and it did change colors so i'm just going to close this out and there it is there it is oh my gosh okay so this is pretty cool so now and all right so now if i close this down this should be right here and let's see if i can go ahead and take this bring it down to let's see i'm gonna just place it right there no it didn't go let's see why not i can put it on there yeah there we go all right now what i want to do is i'm gonna close this down and um just say quit and i want to bring it back up so are you sure you want to quit yes i'll quit now I'm just gonna open it by clicking right here and it should open right up. And there, there we have it. Yes, checking, starting design space. And there we go. Okay, we're in, we're in, we're in. All right, so that is it. That's the quick and simple way. I do wanna say it took me about three times to download and install it because it would, it got caught and then it wouldn't download. So I had to try it three different times. So if you are having, uh, any problems or experiencing any of that, be sure to get a hold of Cricut Design Space and I'm or Cricut Support, and I know that they'll be more than happy to help you with it. But that is how you do it, and now you can start working offline with your projects. And I am sure that I will be doing a lot more video tutorials now with the iPad app, <laughs> with uh, on the desktop and um, in the cloud. Okay, so be sure to hit that thumbs up and uh, subscribe and hit the little bell button, okay? So until next video, y'all have a blessed day. Talk to you later, bye.